All right, so there are several videos on the pink sauce that have gotten a lot of attention and they are making a lot of unsubstantiated claims. I noticed in that last video, in my comments, a lot of people were repeating these claims. Just because a video got a lot of attention doesn't mean the person knows what they're talking about or is making claims that are substantiated. So please stop repeating these things. I've also noticed some of these people saying, oh, we're just trying to help her. You're not helping her if you're just making up unsubstantiated claims or sharing unsubstantiated claims or talking about food safety when you don't know much about food safety or food processing or food production, that's not helping her. So one that I want to address is there was a video where it looked like she was making the sauce. However, there was no context to the video. Um, it looked like she was in her home making the sauce and she was pouring out oil into a container and then next to it was another container with a substance that looked something like mayo. So now everybody's saying she's obviously using mayo in it and she's not listing it on the ingredients. I have no idea if she's using mayo and not listing it. You have no idea if she's using mayo and not listing it. And that video does not prove that she's using mayo and not listing it. I just think it's funny because there are some videos of like, she has to be using mayo. There's no other way this can be emulsified. There are different emulsions other than mayo that are white and look like mayo. So this is an emulsion of garlic, oil, and lemon juice. And this is a traditional Lebanese garlic sauce looks a lot like mayo, it is not mayo, and she's using all of the ingredients that would be in a sauce like that. There are different ways to emulsify a product. Just because you saw a video where she has something next to it that looks like mayo doesn't mean she's putting mayo in the product. Another weird one I heard is that she's reusing ketchup bottles because the bottles look like ketchup bottles, I guess. You can buy wholesale bottles like that pretty easily. Stop sharing these unsubstantiated claims. There are some very real safety concerns, which I addressed in my last video. There are concerns regarding the label that's incorrect. There's no reason to go around making unsubstantiated claims. That in no way is helping. There are a lot of things she obviously needs to address, like shipping, you know, people are getting them opened, the sauce is all over the place, making sure, like I said in the last video, that the, you know, the pH is low enough so that it can be a shelf stable product, making sure the packaging and the sealing is good. So there's a lot of things that she needs to work on. We don't need to be piling on with more unsubstantiated claims.